So for this scenario, I'll show you what happens when an end user sends an email with a clear intent, but they don't provide enough contextual information. So I'll use the same uh, service desk alias and a similar subject line. And I'll paste the same message body, but this time I'm going to erase the verified information. Great. So in the email I just sent, the intent is very clear, which is password reset. However, since I didn't provide enough information to the security groups, I'll get a follow-up email from the AI and they'll give me a link to a chat. So then that way the service desk can verify my identity. In the meantime, I'm also going to get an email from Jira that provides updates on the status of my tickets, which will come shortly after. Cool. So this is the email with the link to the chat. And also, I want to point out real quick that how much information the end user gives uh, determines the intent and how the AI will handle it. This AI isn't dependent on any syntax or sentence structure and is very different from any decision tree like structure. This is where a lot of the machine learning and NLP come into play. So right away, I'll get a personalized greeting because it recognizes my email on hand. And from here, I'll enter my phone number. Perfect. So this fulfills the second security group. And now I'll get a link to reset my password. And in the meantime, I also got an email with an update on my request, letting me know it is in progress. So if I go ahead and view it, you can see the message body and just where it's at right now. So let's reset our password. And I'll say, um, welcome 10. Okay, so now my password is being reset and shortly I should be able to log back into my account. So let's try it out. From here, ten. Awesome, so I now have uh, access back to my account and let's check on the status. So if you hit refresh, you can see it is now resolved and at the same time at the bottom, you can see the activity and the chat log I had with the bot. So this is one of my favorite use cases because this scenario really demonstrates the whole art of the possible. It replicates real world interactions where oftentimes employees just might not provide enough information for resolution. Thus, you can see why an intelligently automated solution like this is so critical because it can capture that information very quickly and resolve the incident. And with that being said, Let's jump into the next scenario where we break the bot and then escalate the incident to a live agent.